A fence can add a lot of different things to your exterior. It could add privacy and security, or add value to your home, or brighten up a certain space. No matter what you're looking for, this DIY will teach you how to create your dream exterior. At Koimon, we have various options in fences, from PVC threaded open fences to wooden fence panels. We have chosen to build a wooden fence on top of a small concrete wall. We think this will truly make the rest of the residence shine. You can easily change the height of the fence or choose to add different panels to make it seamlessly fit your style. Make sure you have the following tools and materials. Building a fence is not very difficult, however, it is a two-man job. First of all, it's important to know the amount of fence panels and poles you need for your amazing new fence. The fence panels we have chosen are 7.7 .7 feet in width. We divide the total length by that and round upwards. We have 60 feet, so we need to use 8 panels in total. The total amount of poles needed is one more than the total amount of panels used. In our case, that is nine poles. Secondly, you need to think about the foundation on which you would like to build your fence. In our project, we have a low concrete wall that is perfect to put your fence on top of. Clean your foundation if needed. This will give you a nice and clean workspace. We start with securing one pole to the wall. Determine exactly where you want to place the post anchor. The post anchors ensure that the poles will be strapped in tight and your fence will not fall over when it gets windy. Use the hammer drill to pre-drill the holes in the foundation. Use the driver to place the screws in the pre-drilled holes to fasten the post anchor. To saw the pole to the right size, you should measure the height of the fence and add the amount of inches the fence will be placed above the foundation. Use a hand or circular saw for this step. Make sure you use gloves and glasses to protect yourself. If the blade of the saw is not large enough to cut the pole at once, use a pencil to mark all sides of the pole. After one side is cut, you can turn the pole and keep sawing until all four sides are done. You can now put the pole in place and drive the screws into the pole while another person helps to keep the pole level. Next, secure the pole to the wall using a galvanized brace. You pre-drill the holes here as well and drive the screws in using the driver. Don't forget to use the level to make sure the pole is 100% vertical. Now it's time to start placing the fence onto the foundation. By placing some leftover wood on the foundation, you can make a floating fence. Once the fence is in place, you can drive in the screws to fasten it to the pole. The fence we have just placed determines the exact location of the second post anchor. Make sure you position the anchor so that you can attach both fences to the pole. Once again, pre-drill your holes and drive in the screws. You can now saw the second pole to size. Once this is done, you can install the second pole on the anchor. Use the level to adjust the pole to the right position. Now install the second fence and repeat placing the anchors, poles and fences until you reach the end.
Once you have reached the last fence, you need to put the final pole into place. You can use the same steps to secure the pole to the bottom and side of the pole using a galvanized brace. It can be necessary to saw the last fence to size, measure the space that you need to the pole and mark these points on the fence. Use a hand or circular saw to cut the fence to the right size. Now you can place the last fence onto the poles. Remember to use the scrap wood to keep the fence floating above the foundation. The fence is completely done, except for some styling choices to be made. You can decide to paint the fence in the color that you have chosen and use wood paint or stain to match your exterior. Koiman has a large collection of wood paints and stains to choose from. Don't forget to let it dry and you are ready to enjoy your gorgeous new fence.